All right, I am really excited to show you this uh, feature in Touch Chat with WordPower. I'm gonna show you how to attach a video to a button. Um, what I wanna do is put one in the social area. So I, I'm sorry, this was the home page, right? Um, going to social. And then I'm gonna put it in the personal and, and questions section. Um, the personal questions section has pre-programmed, well, the buttons are pre-programmed. You have to put the, the correct information in, but like my I, my name is, I live at. Um, it also has things like my pets and favorite TV show. Um, but before I started this video, I made this button that you can see up top that says favorite song. So I just created that button because um, I want my child to um, be able to talk about her favorite song and then even show a video a part of a video of her favorite song when she's sharing with her friends or sharing um, in circle or whatever it is. So this is the button I made favorite song and uh, listen to the message that I put attached to the button. My favorite song is the animal alphabet song. Okay, so I want her to be able to say that and I want her to be able to share a portion of the song, the video. So what I'm going to do is what we usually do when we're editing, we're going to go to menu, we're going to go to edit page, and then it says blank here. Um, and then it's because I had something there and I removed it, but it used to be just white like the other buttons. It doesn't really matter. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the button and I want it to be the button right next to where it says her favorite song so that she can just click her. This is my favorite song and then click the song. So I'm going to do um, create a new button. If it was blank, you would just do edit new button. Maybe I should do that so that you guys can see because usually it's not something that you remove. So you could either create if it's a blank button or if you want to do one that's just white, you'll see you can just, um, I'm sorry, you'll just hit that button and it says edit this button, whichever is the case. Um, so I'm going to put, um, so she said her favorite song was the animal alphabet song. So I'm going to label this animal <laughs> alphabet song. I'm not going to have a message and I'm not going to have it speak the message because I just want her to be able to select it and have it start playing. But I will select an image. So what I did was I took a screenshot ahead of time of what the song looks like part of the video looks like. So I'm going to import that photo, the picture I took to represent her um, animal ABC song. So, okay, so this is the button label. This is the picture we have for it. I'm going to come down here and here's the really important part. So you're going to, I don't want it to speak the message. Like I said before, I want her to just click on it and have the video start playing. So I'm deleting speak message and under the button actions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add an action and it's just like any other time you add an action to navigate to a page or whatever. Um, there's actually a, an, a selection, an action that says play video and I went too far play video. And so you can go to YouTube and attach, um, the video that way, or you can, if you, what I did was I screen recorded the video of the song um, just so I could decide how much of it was going to play and where it was starting and everything. So I'm going to go to my library video. But, um, okay, and then I'm going to use... All right, so now it says play video, so I'm going to save it. So now there it is. So she can do this. My favorite song is the animal alphabet song. A is for alligator, ah, ah, alligator, so ah, ah, song. alligator, A. Isn't that 
cool. <laughs> um, I just think that's so cool. The other thing um, you could do is if you remember, you could make a video of your own, like take your own video and then um, share about it. Like, let's say I wanted to um, describe something I did. So remember, if you go to groups and then you go down to visual scenes, you can describe a scene. So I'm just going to do this one scene for... Um, let's say I ha I put, um, oops, I'm going to edit page and then I'm going to edit this and I'm going to say um, hike. And then that's, the, that's what the button's going to read. And then I'm going to put I, I hiked by the river yesterday. And then I'm gonna um, just select an image of the uh, river. You could do, I mean hiking, sorry. <laughs> so hike. And then it's gonna speak the action. Then I'm gonna edit the big screen here and I'm gonna put my own video. So I'm gonna put, um, I'm just gonna put river. And I'm not going to have it speak the message. Oh, it doesn't anyway. Okay. So I'm going to select an image. You can do your own picture of the river if you want to um, that you took, which is cool. I'm just going to do that for now. Whoops. Then I'm going to, um, sorry, I need to edit again. I need to come down to actions. And you're going to do the same thing. Add, add an action. And then you're going to go to play video and video library. And I'm going to use that. And then you can do this. Done. So now you can do this. I hiked by the river yesterday. I hiked by the river yesterday. See? That's what it sounds like. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, this thing can do so many cool things. All right. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. So that's how you attach a video to a button. Um, and you can do it for m many reasons. Sometimes people do it um, for their gestalt learners um, as well. Um, because sometimes they uh, how they ask for things are, um, you know, they, they script part of uh, what they, a video or part of, you know, they do some scripting. So sometimes you can just add the video and then use that as a way to um, ask for things. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped. Um, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe or if you're on TikTok, uh, follow and then let me know uh, what I can, what else I can do. All right. Thanks.